guys, so I'm back for part three of my questions and answers video and I'm gonna move on now to different topics. What I'm doing is breaking these videos down into manageable chunks so people won't complain that there's a 20 minute video. So I'm gonna do that. I know my videos tend to be long but I like to talk a lot and I like to do good reviews, quality reviews and give you all the information rather than doing little snippets of advertisements for different brands. So, this video is going to be about life and career, and I'm going to answer the questions from that. So, if you want to see the other videos, definitely click below, and I'll try to leave links to all the videos once they get uploaded. So, Addy52286 says, when are you moving to North Carolina? The Brilliant Beauty also said, I remember he said you were going to move. How are your life plans going? Jackie M also said, are you still moving? Julie B says that as well if we're moving. So a lot of people want to know if we're still moving. The plans to move to North Carolina have been delayed. And nothing drastic happened. It's just um, right now is probably not the best time to leave family and everything behind. Especially if we're planning on having kids. So if we move to North Carolina, it would just be us. It wouldn't, we have, wouldn't have family down there, so it would be a little bit more difficult. So we decided to stay in New York for a couple more years. It's still in the plan to move to North Carolina eventually, but that's more of a long-term goal rather than a short-term goal. So it's not going to be within the next five years, unfortunately. I was really looking forward to it, but it made more sense to stay in New York for a little longer. Maika324 said, are you a religious or spiritual person? And yes, to more visit. Hubby, I love to see you. Hi, Maika. Big up yourself, Maika. Um, I believe strongly in God. I believe there is a higher being. I mean, really and truly, you just need to look in the mirror and look at yourself. Look outside, look at nature and realize there is something much greater than us out there. And I do believe in God. I do believe in Jesus as well. I, um, I would be classified as a Christian, but I am not big on organized religion. It's just I've not really had a good experience at different churches I've been to and, and it's I can't really say that I can commit to an organized religion the way they're done here and it, it, it takes time to find something that you can truly commit to. But I do believe in religion as, at, a, at the core, that it gives you structure, it gives you, it, it really teaches you values and qualities. And I definitely want that to be a part of my family life. So while I'm not highly religious, I do believe in the institution of a church and having that to be a part of your family and to have that those core values instilled in your family. Sharika Kelly also asks, what do you do for fun other than make YouTube videos? Girl, you think YouTube videos are fun? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They are fun and I do this is my hobby. I really like um, makeup. Makeup is I makeup is one of my biggest hobbies. I really love makeup. But as far as for fun, you'd be surprised when I'm actually a homebody. I love being home I will cook, I will watch TV, I will lay up in the bed, I'll read a book. I really love being home. I love movies. I used to do, when I was single, I used to walk, go to the matinee every Sunday was my routine, my ritual. I did Sunday matinees by myself, it doesn't matter. I would watch movies by myself. I love doing that. Um, me and my husband go now and watch movies. I also like to cook. It doesn't sound fun, but I like to cook. That is something fun to me. I also like to spend time with my family, my in-laws, as well as my own family. Like, we I, we spend a lot of time with them. And then as far as, like, social, like, with, with um, like, friends and stuff, we go out to a lounge or to a club, stuff like that. Um, what else do I like to do? F I like to, I don't know what else I would consider liking, like doing for fun. I like adventurous stuff. I like vacation stuff, but I don't get to do too much of that. But I like traveling for fun. I do that a lot and I get to do that a lot with my job. Like, that's all I got for you. Ebony Butler said, what is your beauty schedule regimen daily routine? I always get to a point where I'm walking around with chip nail polish 
and not enough time in the morning to do makeup and I always think how does the fancy face still always stay on point also what about summer makeup sometimes it feels too humid to have it on but I still like to make myself up some Ooh, a lot in there so my beauty schedule um regimen daily routine it seems like I'm always together because on my YouTube videos, I make sure that my nails are done, and my hair is done, and my makeup is done. That is not always the case on a day-to-day -day basis, although I do make sure my nails are done. I don't like chip nail polish. The minute my nails chip, they're off, and, they're, and I've gotten my, my polishing down to a T where I can get my nails done in a half an hour. So I just make a half an hour after work, before I shower, to do my nails or right after I shower to do my nails but my my routine is typically on Saturday mornings I do my nails <laughs> sounds weird but I get up that's the first thing I do is do my nails and I do my hair Saturday mornings I wash my hair Friday nights wake up Saturday morning it's dry I do my hair and then do my nails that's my Saturday morning um then if anything, I wash my hair again on Wednesday or Tuesday, but then I leave it curly so I don't actually have to style it or do anything crazy. I just get it in a ponytail and I wear it natural for those couple of days. And then Friday and Saturday, I do it again. And then <clears throat> if my nails chip, like I said, I, I those are coming off that day and I'm just doing them at night I'm gonna find 15 minutes half an hour to just quickly polish them at night because I refuse to walk around with chip um, nail polish my toenails are a different thing if they chip I don't mind too much because I can just wear a closed toe shoe I set my clothes out or I don't set my clothes out I'm lying to you I picture my clothes in my head before I go to sleep at night so I picture what I'm wearing the next morning so I can get up and go just like that I know what I'm wearing so that I plan at night while I'm in bed getting ready to go to sleep so that's how I can move quickly with that with my makeup on a day-to-day -day basis to go to work I do a very simple face I fill in my eyebrows put on mascara put on a very light foundation a little bit of blush and I'm out the door I don't do lips I don't do contour and I don't do any of that I do a very quick five to ten minute face which I actually want to show you guys I want to do a video on that a very quick face to go to work just so everything is clean and polished and I look put together to go to work but I don't do eyeshadow and all that crazy lashes or anything it's very simple when I go to work and then on the weekends I'll make time to do a video or two I try to do two videos or three videos in the space of time so I can just do that and then at night when I come from work I do my editing um, so that's my beauty that covers my beauty routine, right? Um, yeah, that covers the beauty routine. If I'm going to do makeup on the weekends, then I invest at least an hour, half an hour to an hour to do makeup, like to do makeup and enjoy the makeup. But other than that, I'm taking five, ten minutes to do my face in the mornings. Um, career. Ashley Irby said, How old are you and what do you do for a living? Um, this is where we're gonna get into it. I am 31 and I'm an electrical engineer. Mrs. Katrina Ingram says she absolutely adores my videos. Thank you, Katrina. And what do I do for a living? Chai2 2010 said, What do I do for a living? Hilsha 40, love the videos. What do you do for a living? Thank you. The Naked Diva says she also wants to know what I do for a living. And who else says this? Little Willie says, what do I do professionally? K Unique Breeze, hey girl! Hey K. I know you're an engineer. Can you share a little bit more about the type and is the travel you do related to work? Maika also said the same thing. Did you always want to be, well, oh, that goes into some other things. Okay, so like I said, what I do for a living, I'm an electrical engineer. Now, that is a very broad thing to say. Like, that's like saying I'm a doctor. A doctor of what? Are you a dentist? Are you a pediatrician? Are you a podiatrist? So electrical engineering covers so many things. It could, I could be an electrical engineer. Somebody else over here is an electrical engineer. We do completely 
different things which is why I like the field it it varies so much that you can change careers and still be in the same field so um there's design you can do what I do and let me see if I can explain this really succinctly. I do conformity assessment for electronic and electrical products to ensure compliance with certain safety standards or certain standards that vary by country and by code. So the National Electric Code that we use here in the US is one of the things that we ha that I evaluate products for as well as various safety standards. So that's what I do. I'm not gonna get into what company I work for, but many companies are involved in the same thing I am. So you can go into that compliance assessment and it's like an analyst or you know something like that. And various companies do that. You can also go into design. You can also do project management. You can also do construction. You can do, uh, what do you call that? Facility management. There's so much you can do as an electrical engineer, which is, which is a great thing. For Maika, what do electrical engineers do exactly? They can do a variety of things. Oh, let me answer K Unique Reese too. Um, the travel I do. Yes, the travel I do is related to work. Uh, what I do is I visit various manufacturers and client facilities. Sometimes I do technical consultation with them. Other times I do audits. And then I also do testing and evaluations there. So. When I go to different countries and you hear me saying I'm going to a different state or I'm going to a different country, it's typically to, to visit with a client and go into their facility. So it is related to what I do, but do not be fooled that everyone that does what I do gets to travel because there are people within my own company that do exactly what I do, but they might be in a different department or a different industry and they do not travel. Like there are people who have never traveled. So... They're a little bit mad at me sometimes, but I'm happy to do what I do. Maika324 said, Did I always want to become an electrical engineer and if I change careers, what would I do? I did not always want to be an electrical engineer. I actually fell into it by chance and I'll get into that because somebody asked um, more about that. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do growing up. I wanted to be a scientist. That was the one thing that stuck out to me. I wanted to be a scientist of some sort and I didn't want to do medicine or anything like that. So I guess this is the closest I'm gonna be to a scientist. If I could change careers, it, I would probably do forensics. I wanted to do computer forensics, which I'm still thinking about doing. Also, maybe um, patent law that's something that I'm interested in too. So I'd have to go to law school uh, and I'd have to go back to school for forensics, for computer forensics. Well, I have my computer engineering degree, so I just have to do the forensic courses. So that's what I would probably do. S.2385 said, what made you choose engineering as a career and what is your dream job? And Tamara Brown said, if you've been to university, what was your major and what's your dream job? So my major was electrical and computer engineering. And I chose engineering as my major in college because, and it's so random. Well, not really random, but it's, it's not typical, but my brother actually chose to do the degree that I went ahead and did. He chose the school I wanted to go to. We came here one summer and I went with him to the school to see, cause he was doing all this research about school here and he went and he did um he went into the school i went with him he was looking at the exact course that i did he wanted to do it so bad and i was like hmm that looks interesting actually and i always see i would always see him going around doing different things soldering this taking out this component doing all kinds of different things and i was like oh that's kind of interesting and cool and i was really good at math math was one of my strong points and i really loved math so i figured hey it's something scientific I can do and it relates to computers too because I, weirdly enough, I got the computer award and in high school for my graduation, which I didn't even know I was up for, but I got that award and so I was really good at computers and programming and stuff and I was really good at math. So I went into electrical and computer engineering and it just fit with what I was really good at. Not necessarily what I loved, but what I was really good at and I grew to love it even more so my dream job I actually 
don't necessarily have one if I could just do a job all right, my dream job would probably be, after getting involved in this blogging world and YouTube and makeup, would probably be to do brand marketing and consultation, like being a brand marketing manager or something along that line for a cosmetics company. Or, no, product development and marketing. Product development and marketing for a cosmetics company would probably be my dream job right now that after I've done this but I like my job I really like what I do I like what it involves I don't always like the panel, but I like what I do and what I stand for in my like what my company stands for like I like what we do overall like I affect all of your lives and you don't even know it you ain't even know it but I touch each and every one of your lives right now everyone that is watching this video right now I affect your lives and I like that. Beauty with Olivia says, I love watching all your videos. You're just hilarious. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, if you had to be in another career that is different from the ones you have now, which career would you choose? That's what I just said. I would do brand um, product development and marketing for a cosmetics company. Angel Sweet, where did you study to become an engineer and what kind are you? And do you find it hard to be a female engineer? I mentioned where I studied and what what kind of engineer I am. Um, I don't find it difficult to be, well, I do, I do and I don't find it difficult to be a female engineer. In the industry that I'm in, it's not too difficult to be a female engineer, even though there are very few of us still, uh, but I don't find it difficult at all, maybe because I relate to men a lot better than I do to women, so it's easy to get along with the men. But it can be difficult where you don't gain the same amount of respect as your male counterparts right away. Like if I go into a client as a female and as a young female at that, they don't automatically give me the same level of respect they would give some a male equivalent. So you have to kind of fight upward, an upwards battle. Like you have to be that much better and you have to be that much more technologically sound and technically competent to kind of negate all their negative connotations you know all the things that they're thinking oh she's female she's young what the hell she know about me but you have to work kind of harder to fight those stigmas and it can be a little bit tricky but if you know your stuff and you're dedicated to your job and your field then you're gonna have no problems in it and i think women can do it and women have been doing it and i think the the field does need more female engineers and i don't think necessarily that females can't do the job they just haven't seen it as an option and they haven't chosen it like oh i can be an electrical engineer like that's not the first thing in their heads usually which i think we need to instill from a younger age so my nieces actually realize that i'm an electrical engineer and they they're like oh i can do that and one of my my niece actually and i love this it's so it's so adorable. My niece said to me that, Auntie Tina, I want to be like you when I grow up. And I was like, oh my God. She's like, oh my God, you get to travel the world. You have your own place. You drive your own car. I want to be like that. And it's so, it's so sweet to hear. Like, it's very basic stuff, but it's like I can motivate her to go to school, do this and do. She's like, I want my college degree and I want to travel and I want to go to Europe and I want it. And it's so cute. I'm like, you can do it, girl, because she's really smart too, but you can do it. And I like motivating females to get empowered to do these powerful jobs and not be afraid because it's a male-dominated industry. Like, we could do this. We could take over. Spoken Truly said, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty certain you said where you were an en engineer. I'm in school for electrical engineering. Any of us about the field would be greatly appreciated. And I think this is a guy that actually asked this question. I highlighted it because I think it's a guy. Um, any advice? My biggest advice about the industry is make sure your GPA is above 3.0. You're going to be in a competitive market, so know your stuff. Next, um, electrical circuits. You need to pay attention in that class. So your circuits class, make sure that you pay attention and you're really good in reading schematics and analyzing different circuitry. That's going to really benefit you in the long run. Learn the programs like AutoCAD. I don't know if they updated it to another one, but learn the programs, the drawing programs, the design programs, that's going to benefit you as well. Also, when you're almost 
you when you're in your senior year of your degree make sure that you do your fe test no one told me this and i wish somebody did but do your fe test that's your fundamentals of engineering's test that's going to lead you towards your um, professional engineering license so do your fe test right away right out of school it will save you a lot of pain and effort later on do that and just really focus there are a lot of job opportunities out there be strong in your field be strong in circuits maybe find your niche find something that you really love and just really focus on that and get involved in that and good luck i really hope you you know do great <laughs> CCK80 says, your hair is so healthy. Thank you. That's not mine right now. Would you do a career video maybe talking a bit about what you do, how you prepared for your career, one that focuses on office-appropriate looks you had up on hair? Yes, I actually do want to do that a little bit more. I want to do a little bit more career videos, a little bit more office etiquette, office attire, different things for the office. So I'm planning on how to do those videos and what topics to cover so if you have more suggestions definitely leave them below and i'll definitely check them out but yeah i definitely think um looking to doing some stuff like that queen esquire or queen esq says i love that you wear bold eyeshadow looks do you get to wear bold makeup at work how do you incorporate bold looks at the workplace when i started out in makeup i think when i started out in makeup 2010 i think 2010 I believe I started out in makeup and I would wear bold eyeshadow to work I would wear the craziest looks to work and they weren't necessarily office appropriate like they weren't for a regular corporate office but in my office we're very relaxed we're not the main office we're we're a global company I'm not we're not in the main office so it was a little bit more laid back it was a very casual um, office attire and, and dress code and I could wear the bold makeup because I was young and I was expressing myself and people were very supportive of it. So it wasn't a big deal for me to wear the bold looks to work. And as I got older, I tamed it down a bit. And definitely if I was meet meeting with clients and any meetings that I had, I would definitely not be wearing that. I would wear something very simple, very put together, but still very plain, very natural, very simple to do meetings but um day to day i could still get away with wearing the bold looks because i wasn't meeting with anybody i was just sitting at my desk and doing my job so i could get away with the bold looks now i don't too much wear bold makeup to work i wear actually wear just very simple makeup just because i don't have the time i get up and i want to go so it takes a little bit more to wear bold makeup so i don't really do it at work anymore casual k says where do you see yourself in five years rather on youtube or in your profession g n or jean hassel says you're very creative keep up the excellent work thank you what advice do you have to become successful and aisha mckenzie said do you enjoy your career feel aisha i do enjoy my career field for all the reasons I said before I get to travel I get to do different things I get to experience different things and there's such variety that it always it keeps it challenging and it keeps changing so I'm never bored so I like my career Candice Stokes hey Candice what made you choose electrical engineering as your career that I already mentioned casual K in five years I am gonna take over the world no, I'm kidding. In five years, I actually expect to be taken on a more leader, lead, if I'm still with the same company, I expect to be in more of a leadership position, maybe a team leader or more of a technical lead. Right now, I'm a senior project engineer, so maybe make it up to staff engineer and do kind of more managerial and leadership type work or just be more of a technical leader. I also want to get my MBA and finish up my licensing, so that's in the next five years. YouTube, um, I don't know in five years if I'm going to still be on YouTube. I probably still will do things here and there. It probably will evolve a little bit more since five years from now. I'm probably going to be a mom and life is going to be different. So five years from now, YouTube might not be so yeah big a part of my life so yeah advice on being successful is to work hard i mean you have to put the time and effort into things things are not going to fall into your lap and i think that's the thing with the new generation they're very they have this sense of entitlement and they don't think they have to work for things that they get 
and it's like no you have to actually work you have to put in the time and effort you have to truly get on your grind go out there there's there's so much you can learn from the internet there's so much you can do in the real world you have to network you have to get to know people you have to get to know your industry research 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 the internet is has a bounty of information so definitely use that to your advantage do research on your industry on a company on any of those things use it to network and not social network but actually reach out in a professional sense to different companies visit different companies career fairs um and just be dedicated to your craft you know you can't just think oh I'm just gonna do this and I'm supposed to be successful because I want to be no you have to put in the work and don't get dissuaded don't think oh crap I put in this work and nothing's happening it's gonna happen just work at it be diligent and it will come so that's the end of this video guys I just covered my career and life and my school and education so hopefully you guys um, I answered some of your questions. Uh, be doing another couple of parts to this video, this answers and questions video. It's gonna be for the rest makeup, life, health, and hair questions. So stay tuned for the other videos. I'll leave a link below to the videos that have already been completed and once they're uploaded I'll add them to the list as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and um, links will also be below to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages where you can keep up with me there. And until my next video, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!